perhaps when I was at EV, I didn't realize it until I came out of EV. How inward looking we are. Somehow we feel that we are all proof donors will continue to support us, doesn't matter what we do. I think any scientists have to go beyond the inward looking posture to communicative, engaging, best mind all over the world, collaborate much more aggressively. Otherwise, down the road I can see that no matter how many celebrations you have, you will have problems with garnering funds. Second, uh, what I noticed that last five, six years, it is not a, it's not hitting any headline in the United States. Well, five years back or ten years back, fifteen years back, EV news was a major news here. Washington Post, New York Times. I don't see any breakthroughs coming out which is hitting the headline. There's no criticism of EV. It's my fear that we need to generate a lot more relevant knowledge and technology and communicate with the U.S. and other industrious nations so they feel excited to be supportive of you. So we need to, I could see that your strategic plan with the communication is a very good one, but be sure that U.S. has an important audience that you consider and I think Bob will do that, Bob Ziegler will do that. I somehow felt that some of the director general didn't do that, just ignored the United States and it comes to Europe and Japan. Okay, but you know U.S. is still a major player in the world economy and U.S. can still be helpful even though they are cutting the budget of their own program so they cannot support the overseas program too much. So communication, making sure that scientists are encourage come out with new knowledge and technology which will help the next generation of problems. Take that and communicate with the industrial countries as well as the developing region. Of course the primary beneficiary is the developing regions. But don't forget the developed regions are partners and we need to do a better job of communicating with them why we need to support EV and other CG centers. So I consider that a big, big challenge because of resources are getting shrinking all over the world. So we've got to do a lot more about what I call communication and information exchange. And at the same time, try to bring in more U.S. scientists, more postdocs, encourage them to come to ED and other CG centers. Because I think our American representation is not very strong. It's my perspective.